when I review a work comp insurance policy for a new client, I see more mistakes in this section than anywhere else. It's time to do a little deep dive into the nitty gritty of section 3A of your work comp policy. This is going to be a little painful, but hang in there because I see issues here all the time. So picture this, your company is located in Minnesota, but on the border of Iowa, your employee lives in Iowa, but he's working out of town in Wisconsin and they get injured. Now, the way I understand this, that injured employee can file a work comp claim in Wisconsin, Minnesota, or Iowa. Therefore, all three states need to be listed in section 3A of your work comp policy. So when you're reviewing your policy, it's crucial to check which states are listed in section 3A and ask yourself some important questions. Are we physically located in any other states that aren't listed in 3A? Are we currently working in any other states? Will we be working in any other states in the next 12 months? Do our employees reside in any other states? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, you need to add those missing states pronto. And trust me, deciphering insurance policy language can be confusing and navigating as a maze blindfolded. I've had my fair share of debates with senior underwriters, claim adjusters, and carrier bigwigs about this very topic. The confusion often arises when determining when coverage falls under Section 3A versus 3C. Many insurance companies and agents tend to skip listing all of the states you work in under 3A, arguing that incidental work activities will be covered under 3C. But I've got a different take on this, and here's why. First, work comp benefits, extra territorial coverage, temporary out-of-state employment, state reciprocity, and specific state statutes govern these topics are all state-specific and mind-boggling complex. When a claim lands in court, various factors come into play and carriers have their own interpretations. Second, the policy language itself suggests that you should be generous with the states that you list in Section 3A. Lastly, adding states to Section 3A can often be done with little or no cost at all. So why not just cover your basis? Now, stay awake through the next two minutes so you can dissect some of the language in the most commonly used work comp policy form titled Workers' Compensation and Employer Liability Policy Copyright 2019 National Council of Compensation Insurance. All right, so page one of this policy. It's titled General Section, paragraph C. It mentions that workers' compensation laws of each state or territory in 3A will apply. So those are the states whose laws you'll follow. The next section of the policy to draw your attention to is on page two, section part two, employer's liability insurance, paragraph A. This part talks about employment being necessary or incidental to your work in a state listed in 3A. Here's the kicker. It doesn't define what incidental really means. Incidental mean one day, one week, one month. So why not just add it to section 3A and be sure. Page four, section three, titled Other States Insurance, paragraph A. It says that if you start working in a state not listed in 3A on the policy's effective date and don't list it within 30 days, there's no coverage. So are you going to remember to add that state later or should you just add it now? And then page four, same section, paragraph B mentions telling your insurance company at once if you begin work in a state listed in 3C. Again, what does at once even mean? Anyway, so here's the bottom line. If you have a work site in a state are currently working there in a state, plan on working there within the next 12 months, or have employees living there, I'd just go ahead and list that state in Section 3A. Don't leave it up to interpretation, chance, or your memory. When in doubt, just add the state. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, don't tell anybody. Remember, risk insurance is a blend of risk management and business insurance with a little bit of bad humor. All designed to make your life easier. Stay safe out there.